Okay, so I already have a Microsoft Sync Toy uh, configured. Um, I have a folder configured here on the left and the right folder configured. Um, those basically translate. I've got uh, for this setup here, the left folder is actually sitting on a phantom drive. Uh, it's the name of a drive by Micronet that I have, external drive. And the right folder is actually sitting on another external drive called a MyBook. Um, if I go in and you can see each one's pointing to a different drive letter, so there's F and there's E. Um, and I, it's going to the exact same folder, um, parent folder. It doesn't have to, it can go any place you want. The way I've got mine set up is that everything that happens here on the F drive, when I click run, I want updated over here to the E drive. So if I look at my change action, you can see this. I've clicked on echo and it says new and updated files are copied left to right. Renames and deletes on the left are repeated on the right. So if I delete a file, I add a file, I rename a file, anything I do to the hard drive here, uh, this external drive uh, or folder if you will, on the left will be repeated over here on the right. Um, as you see there was other options here. I could do synchronize which is new and updated files are copied both ways. Renames and deletes on either side are repeated on the other and then the other one is contribute. New and updated files are copied left to right. Renames on the left are repeated on the right but they do not include any deletions. So for my purposes echo was the one of choice for me. Um, you have options uh, for the pairing. So this is actually called a pairing and um, those are listed here. And then if I do change options, you can see where I can actually get in here and control a lot of that. Uh, files to include, exclude, uh, read, uh, read only, uh, hidden files, uh, system files, so you can really define it. Let's see it run real quick. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on run. You can also do a preview. which will basically go through and give you a preview of all of the files that have changed on the left or folders or renames and so that you know what's going to happen over here on the right. I'm going to, and you can see it going through everything here. I'm going to stop this for now and right now we're just going to click um, just run and so this is going through and it's comparing everything looking for any changes that were made on EF and not made on the E drive and um, when it's all done in here, and this is about half a terabyte, if not a whole terabyte worth of data. So it's going pretty fast. And when the um, process completes, you can see it gives you um, a summary of what it did. Basically, it looks like it deleted a folder, renamed uh, some others, uh, created 12 new ones, new f uh, files, and uh, two new folders for a, 20, a total of 23 um, operations. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our own little uh, test project here. I'm going to go create new folder pair and on the uh, left folder as a source we'll go out to the computer and let's go from uh, my book uh, right here let's pick um, we'll copy the cool utilities folder and browse and let's bring that over to another external drive to the F drive and let's drop it into uh, the temp folder and let's make a new folder in there and call it backup okay and we just simply click OK and then next and then we're going to choose echo new and updated files are copied left to right renames and deletes on the left are repeated to the right. So right now on the right there shouldn't be anything in that backup folder. It should be completely empty. So if we go out to our Windows Explorer and take a quick, uh, excuse me, a quick peek, um, we can see that where it go? There it is. Temp, backup, and you can see it's empty. So now we'll go back to Sync Toy. We'll just click Next and let's give this a name, let's call it test and click finish and once again if I wanted to choose some other options uh, we can go in here and tweak it even further for now we're just going to go preview 
and these are all the changes it's going to make. So um, these are all the operation is new and um, these are the source files. We can see that uh, there's 109 of them and it's going to create seven folders. So I can click run or I could just do close and sit right here at the opening screen and once I've selected whatever project that I want to sync I just click run and it goes through this fast and right here it's going to give us the results and there we go just like it showed us in the preview and it's that easy and so now if we go out to our backup folder here you can see that there's all the files and folders that were in our source folder